going on guys, Raf here. Um, basically, I'm making this video uh, just as an update video on the S13 because obviously it's been some time since you've seen anything about it and you've probably thought I haven't touched it at all. I've probably ended up doing what that comment has said and uh, stored it all ready for Marketplace in the next couple of years, but no, I've done some work on it. But the reason why I'm sitting here um, and not out there showing you anything at the moment is because I wanna, I wanna first off apologize for not putting any content out lately. Um, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you, since um, I did that Matt Williams video, Driven for Life, and how much effort um, I put into it, not only me, obviously everyone else involved did put a lot of effort into it. Um, and then seeing the reach it got, which was pretty poor, um, I think personally it does deserve a lot more recognition. And as dumb as it sounds, it fucking hurts. It hurts to see a video we've made or other people have made with little to no effort get such a huge amount of views and I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking for a million views or anything like that. I just wanted, you know, the, the average, what we, we normally get, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 um, views on a video. Um, to see it be literally almost one of our worst um, in terms of views and retention, it, it does hurt. It hurts to put that much effort into something and get nothing back. But for all of you that did watch it and, and commented um, and, and you let me know your thoughts on it, I really appreciate you, thank you. Um, and if you haven't seen it, uh, I, I suggest you go watch it and I will put a link to it in the description. Um, so go watch that after this. But enough of that. Main point of this, uh, I am going to give you an update on the 13. Uh, I'm going to show you the engine. Hopefully it is going to be ready to put in soon. Uh, I, I am in a moon, moon boot at the moment because I uh, fractured my foot at work. So give me another three or four weeks and then maybe I'll chuck it in. But good thing is, um, I can say it's kind of a blessing in disguise because if I didn't fracture my foot, I tell you what, I would not have done the amount of research and sat down for that long doing the wiring for the harness because obviously it's a 13 chassis, it's got a 14 motor in it. Wiring from that is completely different um, because obviously it's got to connect to the chassis as well. So yeah, done some research, got a 13 loom I cut up, I got the old loom just splattered everywhere and then I ended up getting a new S14 loom um, which I've kind of merged the two together, which a bit nerve wracking. Hopefully it all works and we'll we'll find out soon. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I've done, uh, give you a little update. Just bear with me. I'm gonna hop around a little bit only because, like I said, my foot's a bit fucked. Um, but yeah, exciting times. All right, guys, just bear with me as I uh, hop along. Uh, so I'll throw some pictures up of how the engine was before because obviously I stripped it down as much as I could got all the pulleys, bolt-ons, intake, everything, all that off um, now I've got a nice little valve cover I've painted with some red splats on there um, got the intake back on um, pulleys, alternator, all that's back on cleaned up the engine a little bit uh, obviously the, the pulleys look pretty shit but that's what happens when it's been sitting for a while. Hopefully it'll just wear itself off, but not too fussed about that. Um, turbo's all nice and cleaned up. Um, I've got nice braided lines. I've got some from uh, Sleeker Spares. Um, they're all on. Um, new studs, new studs. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty good i did obviously take off the valve cover painted it all that sort of shit so um i looked in there it's not too bad i took the bottom um oil pan off as well redone that um there was no metal in the oil um everything looks pretty good obviously i didn't take the head off um so i didn't didn't go that deep um i'm i'm pretty much just gonna send it so <laughs> um, yeah engines engines almost ready to just uh, drop back in uh, so I'll, I'll show you I'll show you the car um, 
and the wiring side of things that I've done. And then, yeah. Now, I know I said uh, harnesses are completely different, which they're not. Um, to the engine, all the same shit, same plugs, because um, obviously it's just the same engine, it's just one's got um, VTC, one's no VTC. Um, but the, the difference is the body plugs. So I'll show you here. Uh, with mine, so this is the body plugs. I don't know if you can really see there. There's one there and another one over here. Base, and then obviously ECU goes in here. So these all go to your, your dash cluster, all that sort of shit. Um, but... In an S14, you've got this one big plug here with your relays, um, and then that goes to obviously all your ECU power, relay power, all that sort of stuff in your footwell, all here. Now, on an S13, that's in the engine bay. So, again, when they did this swap, they just used generic plugs, not factory plugs. So, the shit thing about that for me is, I've obviously then got to match everything up from factory plugs I got off another harness to then these generic plugs in this chassis. So that that's where the time has uh, has been spent. Um, so I've done all the ECU side. Um, this is the factory plugs from the S13 harness that I've spliced in. Obviously these don't match up here because they've just done generic plugs for whatever reason back in the day. Um, nice little harness I made comes out of there um, like I said everything else is the same in terms of on the engine um, but yeah all that's really left to do is to match these colors up with these um, to these plugs so obviously I can plug it off and on um, and yeah hopefully hopefully with the whole week of research I've done since I've been laying down at home not doing anything um, hopefully it's all correct um, and then <laughs> I'll be able to get all the power to the ECU, injectors, relays, all that sort of shit, and I'll be a happy man. Uh, I know it looks pretty fucking shit at the moment, but yeah, basically we've just sanded back most of the areas with like burn marks, surface rust, all that sort of stuff, and just for the time being, I've just sprayed a bit of, bit of primer on there. Um, I know it's not probably the best thing to do, but for the time being, that's that's all I've done because um, I didn't have anything else to do it with. So basically, the next step of this is obviously wire all that in, get the engine and stuff in, change fuel pump, all that sort of shit, get it to the point where it runs. I'm going to use the old clutch that came with it, and then I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it if it all works, fix whatever's not working, engine's coming back out. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing all that and then the engine's going to be coming back out. That way I can then freshen up the bay, paint it, protect it all. And then hopefully I'll be able to then afford to do a full respray on the car because obviously it's not, not the best condition. Uh, I had a tarp over it, but that didn't seem to help in terms of clear because a bit of water got through it. But yeah, we're getting there. Don't mind the fender, a little bit of a bender there. Um, but yeah, pretty keen. Hopefully soon. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it, guys. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update um, of what's going on with the 13, because obviously you haven't heard anything in a while. Um, and then, yeah, I'll try and keep you guys updated once this boots off. See ya.